top of the top, man. Top of the young. Top of the talking about. What you talking about? It is Friday. Woo-hoo-hoo. It's Friday, man. It's Friday. It's the weekend is upon us, man. What's good with y'all, man? What is good, man? I'm out here. It is 7.33 in the a.m., February the 16th, and I am leaving the warehouse. It looks like I may have a light day. I don't know. It looks like I may have a light day. May finish early. Yes, sir. Hey, today is my last day doing my 4.30 pickup. I will be no longer doing my 4.30 pickup anymore. So now, if I finish at 3, I'm done. I can do it. I can go home. I can jump on the gig apps. I can do all that, man. And I will be jumping on them gig apps, man. I ain't did freight, send pass, dispatch, none of them in a minute. I got go share. It ain't did go share once. So, yeah, man, I'm going to jump on that, man. And I can finish when I want to. I ain't got to be obligated to be somewhere at 430 and then get home about 630, 645. No, not anymore, man. Oh, yo, it is the rehab center TV. First of all, you are tuned in. You are tuned in. Go time delivery. Because guess what time it is. I don't care if it's the morning. I don't care if it's the afternoon. I don't care if it's the evening. It's always go time. When you get up, it's go time. When you sleep, it's go time. So, yeah, man, let's go get that money, man. Let's go get that bread, man. Like I said, it is Friday. Let's go do it. And, and you know what? First of all, there is no money in the cargo van business. There is absolutely no money in the cargo van business. Now, that's what they're saying. They're saying there is no money in the cargo van business. Well, guess what? They lying. They lying. They lying to me. I'll be dog. Because I'm getting money in the cargo van business. So if you hear anybody say there ain't no money in the cargo van business, they're a liar. They're a liar. And the truth ain't in them. They just talking because they got teeth. That's all. They talking because they got teeth, man. They money out here, man. I don't care if you doing dedicated routes. I don't care if you doing gig apps. I don't care if you doing OTR. They money out here. Now, a lot of people say the money as far as OTR or whatever, the rate is low. Hey, man, you better learn the, the art of negotiation. You better learn the art of negotiation. That's what it's called. Yes, sir, man, out here, get this money, man. It's out here for you. If you're trying to get into um, the business, man, go get you a cargo van. Go get you a Sprinter van. Start out with your car. You can start out with your car, man. My man right there, he out, he out too. He out getting that money too. You know what I'm saying? We all out here getting that money, bend the corners. Cause the money is here, man. You just gotta go make it, man. You just gotta put ten toes down and go grind. That's all you gotta do. Go grind, man. Simple as that. Go hustle. Go out there and hustle and get that money. Yeah, man, I'm about to jump on 285 right now. Then uh, 285 to 75. Um, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to hustle and get this money and grind, as I should, as I should, as you should too. And if, if you're still in the bed, man, get your ass up. Get your punk ass up. It's time to go. It's time to go get this bread, sunbeam. I ain't lying. Yeah, get up, man. It's time to go grind, man. Go get that money for your family. If you ain't got no family, go get that money for you, man. You know what I'm saying? We all got bills out here, but don't forget to treat yourself. Treat yourself. Don't cheat yourself. But go hustle, man, for real. If you're interested in driving with Curry Express, go to CurryExpress.net. I think Curry Express has um, operations in Tennessee. Of course, here in Georgia, Alabama, Florida, North Carolina, and South Carolina, if I'm not mistaken. If there's more, let me know in the comments. If there's more. But yeah, man, I'm out here grinding, man. I'm about to hit my first stop. Well, I'm not gonna hit my first stop. I'm about to hit um, I'm about to hit this Chick-fil-A. 
I'm about to hit the Chick-fil-A and, and, and get something to eat first because I left early, so I got time. I got time today. I got time today, so I'm about to hit this Chick-fil-A. Bars. Bars. I got time today, so I'm about to hit this Chick-fil-A. Bars. Yes, sir. So, yeah, man. Let's go get it, man. I hope you're having a, a great day. I hope you have a fabulous day. I hope nothing but positivity comes your way. If you negativity comes your way, guess what? Stiff arm it. Hit it with the Emmett Smith. Stiff arm. Ugh. Get off me. Get off me, man. So, yeah, man. Go like, comment, subscribe, share the content. Because they say there ain't no money in the cargo van business. That's what they say. They say there ain't no money out here in this cargo van business. Man, you lying to me. You lying to me because I'm going to get it. You should go get it. Now let's go because it's go time. Yo, what's the deal? What's the deal? I'm probably on, on like number stop 11, something like that. I'm on Kennesaw State University. I'm going to do a pickup. The pickup does I had this pickup for several days. The pickup doesn't have a room number. I know what building it is, but it doesn't have a room number. So I called the voice, I called the phone, and the name sounds familiar, so I'm gonna take a stab in the dark. Cause I think I know what this pickup is. This pickup has been on my uh, manifest for like two, three days, and I haven't been able to get it because it doesn't have a room number. But I may know exactly what it is, so we're gonna see. So I'm just trying to do a little customer service. You gotta do customer service. You gotta give good customer service. Even though they didn't give all the information, I'm gonna do my best to get this done. So hopefully, I'm in the right area, in the right place. So yeah, man. Hope everyone having a great day. Hope everyone's having a good time. Hope you're up and out of. If you ain't up, get your ass up. Get your ass up. Cause it's go time. So yeah, man, I'm at Kennesaw State University. I am at Prilliman. Prilliman Hall. Prilliman Hall. I think this place is on the fourth floor. I'm gonna I'm gonna try. I, I could have just disregarded this order because it didn't have a room number. But like I said, it's been up there and I think I recognize the name. So I'm gonna see because I'm getting familiar with this route. I'm getting I'm getting familiar with this route so I know about where I need to go. So hopefully, hopefully I'm right. Hopefully I'm right. We're gonna we're gonna see. We're gonna see. But um hope everyone's everyone having a good day, man. And let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go find this lady. Let's go. All right, so my intuition was right. I had the correct person. Um, but they don't need a pickup. So I don't understand why this has been on my manifest, but they don't need a pickup. So that's good. That means that I don't have to go there anymore and could continue to have this on my manifest and continue to have to look for the person who needs a pickup because they don't need one. So yeah, I took care of that. And that just goes to my knowledge of knowing my route now. I said, I think I know who this is. So let me go check and it was them, but they don't need a pickup. So yeah, man, I am on start like number 12 now. 12 is 1003 AM, 1003. It's still a little early, man. I may finish a little early today. Um, yeah, I wish that my last day for my 430 pickup was yesterday. Then when I finish it, say three o'clock, I'd be good for the day. I can do a gig app or I can go home. Unfortunately not. Uh, last day of my 4.30 pickup is the day. So yeah, man, I hope everyone is having a great, great, great day. I am, man. Positivity is in the air. You smell it? I smell it, man. Positivity is in the air. And of course, what I say about negativity, hit it with the Emmett Smith. Stiff arm. Stiff arm, stiff arm, stiff arm, man. I'm out here. I'm headed to Window World ATL for their delivery. Window World ATL. And I thought I only had about three Kennesaw States. Well, I had three Kennesaw States inside the campus. Outside the campus, I got um, about six Kennesaw States. Um, 
fortunately five of them are in the same building it's just i gotta find the room because this particular building the the rooms like the way whoever set up the room numbers man they all over the place i know i do have one at the uh distribution warehouse which is super easy i wish everything went at the distribution warehouse but it doesn't so hey it is what it is i'm out here bending the corners man i'm out here getting this money man no, let me change. I ain't getting no money because they said there ain't no money in the cargo van business. Yeah, they said there ain't no money in the cargo van business. You lying to me. You lying to me because when they put deposit that money in my own account yesterday, man, that was money. And it was a nice little bit of change too. Let me tell you that. So whoever's hating, whoever's hating, talking about there ain't no money in the cargo van business. I don't know what cargo van business you were in. I don't know. Maybe you just had the wrong mindset. And that's why you ain't getting no money. Cause because get money is a mindset thing. Get money is a mindset thing. If you ain't got the right frame of mind, you don't know how to get to the money. So yeah, man. Get to the money. Get to the money. That's all I'm saying. I'm about to pull up on Window World ATL right now. I'm here so fast and so quick. So fast and so quick. So yeah. Um Let's, let's go ahead and um, slang these boxes and get this money. When I drop off and hit depart, that's when the money come. Making your way in the world today takes everything you got. Wouldn't you like to get paid? Sometimes you gotta go where everybody knows your name. Remix! Remix, wouldn't you like to get paid? We'll jump into this cargo van business and get paid in the shade, sipping lemonade. It's time to upgrade. But they talking, but they talking about there ain't no money in the cargo van business. Yeah, whatever. Whatever you talking about. I ain't trying to hear it. I ain't trying to hear that. I'm trying to hear that noise. Let's get this money in the cargo van business. There are plenty of us out here getting money in the cargo van business. So I don't know what they talking about. You are tuned into the Rehab Center TV. Go time delivery, because guess what? It is always go time. Go time. And I am pulling up to the United States Post Office. I have a delivery for them. Getting this money. Bending these corners. Spitting game like Tom Joyner. Yes, sir, man. Yes, sir. It is Friday, man. It's Friday, Friday. Last day. Time to get this money. You hear me? Yeah, man. Um, man, start doing your research on the cargo van business. Let me look, let me tell you. Uh, it definitely can be lucrative if if you if you um if you jump in and, and, and do things the right way. Definitely, man. You do things the right way, it can definitely be lucrative for you. Let me tell you that, man. But if you don't do your due diligence, it may not be. Because if you ain't out here doing the things that you're supposed to do, doing the research that you're supposed to do, setting the goals that you're supposed to set, it may not work out for you. To each his own. But it's working out for me and, and, and several others. Do the knowledge. And on that note, I'm about to run into the USPS and get them their own box real quick and I'm running back out to the next stop. Hey, yo, just a reminder, um, especially if you're here in Georgia and you have an LLC, hey, yo, those annual fees are due. Go ahead and pay them annual fees now and get them out the way. I'm, I'm going to do mine this weekend. Um, they, they've been sending me the notice, so I'm going to do mine this weekend. But if you got an LLC, man, um, those annual fees are due. Make sure you pay your annual fees. Make sure you pay your annual fees. Also, I, I, I got a birthday coming up uh, next next month, so I need to go ahead and pay um, for my tags and everything. Yeah, I need to go and pay for my tags and everything. But yeah, I'm pulling up to my next stop. I just want to give that P, P, uh, what is called, uh, PSA to everybody. If you have an LLC, make sure you pay your annual fees. All right, so I'm, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. There is no money in the cargo van business if you're not moving around and conducting yourself like a business. 
If you're not being business minded, if you are, if you're not out networking like you should, if you if you not, don't have your business cards in place, if you're not doing the things that would make you stand out as a business, then yes, there is no money in the cargo van business for you. For you. You have to move like a professional. First of all, don't be out here playing games with people because people look up to professionalism. Absolutely. Make sure your LLC is intact. Make sure you have your EIN number. That's free. And go and get you a um, a Dun and Bradstreet number as well. Establish your business credit. You can go through like Uline and uh, different um, businesses like that to establish your credit, or get you a, a gas card in your business name. But set yourself up like a, a business, and I guarantee you, you will make money in this industry. Cause there is money in this industry. Don't let nobody tell you different, but you have to move a certain way. You have to be reliable. Absolutely, you have to be reliable. You have to be someone, or you have to be a business where when somebody needs something, by your tra track record, they automatically think of you. You have to be positive. Don't, don't come around people with this terrible attitude and think that they're supposed to do for you because they're not. Your attitude is definitely going to determine your altitude, how high you go in this business. Because there's money out here. Don't let nobody tell you there ain't no money in this cargo van business. You're lying to me. Many people I see out here in this business get money. And if you complaining about there ain't no money, or you complaining about the cargo van business, that's because you haven't did your due diligence to make stuff happen for you and your company. Because it is a company, best believe. I hope you have established a company. So yeah, man, there's money out here to get, man. There's money out here to get. They, they print it every day. They print it every day. You just got to go out and make the move get it be professional man i'm telling you it'll go a long way smile that smile will go a long way be respectful be respectful when you're in front of people and be respectful of people's time if you say you're going to be somewhere at a certain time be there if you scheduled to do a pickup at 10:45 be there at 10.30. I'm telling you, man. You, that's what you got to do, man. You just got to move different, man. Move different. Whether you're in the gig apps, OTR, or dedicated routes. Take it from me to rehab. See you at TV. You are tuned in. Go time delivery. Because guess what? It is always go time. All right, man, I'm about to pull up to City Hall. I got a delivery here, and let's get this money together. Let's get this money together, man. You can do it. just got to be focused. That's all. You just got to be focused. Yo! So I just delivered two um, floor, floor mats to this office building, right? So they're doing renovations. They got a sign behind the door. I didn't see the sign. The guy who's doing the floor told me to come on in, just step over. So I, so I, so I step over. As soon as I step over, there's glue on the floor for the carpet. I slips in the glue and falls. I fall into the room. I got glue all on my Jordans. I got glue on my pants. I'm like, yo, what is going on? I mean, I literally, I fell in the room. The, the, the two workers looking at me like, oh. And I get up and start walking. 
I got glue on the bottom of my shoe, so I tracked my shoe prints all over that new carpet. Well, y'all should have told me not to come in here. Tell me to come in and just jump over. Now you got footprints on your new carpet. My Jordans are ruined. Now your carpet ruined. Yo, man, you should have seen how I fell in the room. <laughs> I fell in the room. Oh, my God. The guy turned around and looked at me like, what's going on? And I'm, I'm laying on my back. <laughs> I'm laying on my back, yo. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy, yo. But, yeah, my Jordans, I mean, they work Jordans anyway. I, I, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I work in them, so I ain't tripping on them. Ain't like I be wearing them outside. I definitely can't wear them outside nowhere now. Yeah, it's all good, man. Oh, yeah, I'm having this stop, man. I just had to tell y'all that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pimping the stress. Pimping the stress. 911. <laughs> stop of the day because they didn't open till 11 o'clock so I carried on with my route and now I'm gonna double back um, fortunately for me it's right beside where I do my uh, 430 pickup and I get my totes my uh, my empty totes for Kroger pharmacy so yeah man it's all good man it's been a great day so far um, the Sun ain't really been out but it's 63 degrees but it's still Oh, uh, a little gloomy out here. The sun has not showed his face, but it's all good, man, because it's Friday. And today is my last day doing my 4.30 pickup. I wish it was today, because then when I finish, I can just go home or I can do a couple gig apps or something, y'all. But yeah, man, um, they talking about there ain't no money in you know, the cargo van business. That's what they talking about. Man, look here. Don't believe the hype. In the words of public enemy, don't believe the hype. Don't, 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 don't believe the hype. Yeah. What? Come on, man. Don't believe the hype, man. They money out here. You just got to go get it. And you got to be strategic in getting it. You got to be strategic, for real. If you're not strategic, yeah, you ain't going to get no money. So be strategic, get, put, cross your T's and dot your I's and get busy. And then you can get that money. Man, but it's not gonna be easy. Nothing in life is easy. You're gonna have to put some work in. You're gonna have to put some work in. Best believe, you're just not gonna jump in this business and get that paper. If you don't put the work in, it's not gonna happen like that. It's not gonna work like that. If it does, you lucky. If it does, you lucky. But I don't know. I don't think it's going to work like that, to be honest with you. So, yeah, man, I'm just out here grinding, man. I studied the game, and then I executed. I studied it first, though, before I jumped in, and then I executed. That's all you got to do, man. Study and execute, man. Learn everything you can about the business before you get in it. Make sure it's something that you want to do. And for me, it was one of the best things that I did. I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I do not miss my nine to five. Not at all. Not at all. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? And I feel I feel what B, Big CJ was talking about, about uh, the anxiety of, of quitting your nine to five and then jumping into something like this. But you just got to, you have to cross that hurdle, man. You know what I'm saying? You have to face adversity and get busy. That's all. You can you can do it. I promise you, you can do it. If you put your all into it, you can do it. Because they say there ain't no money in the cargo van business. They lying to me. Man, they lying. 
They lying. It's out here. Go get it. Go get it. That's all I'm going to tell you. Go get it because it's out here. I'm getting it. You can get it. All right, man. I'm about to pull up on my next stop. Um, like I said, I got like eight more stops left. I'm right around the corner from um, my next one. That, then I have seven. So I'm going to holler back at y'all when I finish for the day. All right, your boy is done. It is 3.06 p.m. I am finito. Puerto Rico. Oh. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done with the done. I'm done with the done. Uh, I am on my way to Kroger to pick up my empty totes. And then I'm going to my 4.30 pickup. Um, I'm about to sit around for a little while because I'm a little early. But this is my last day doing my... 4.30 pickup. How can I say goodbye to what we had? The good times. Yeah, man, it's over with, man. My 4.30 pickup days are behind me after this. It's all good, man, because I'm going to make up for it. I think I'm going to make up for it on, on Sundays. I'm going to start doing my VHO back on Sundays. I'm going to do VHO on Sundays. Give me a ride on VHO. Also, I'm going to make up with the freight dispatch and all that on the weekends as well. Um, here and there. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I got a plan. I got a plan. And I'm going to execute. Yes, sir, man. I hope everyone had a great day. I hope everyone had a great day. Um, hey, shout out. Shout out to... Um, the person who made a comment all the way from Croatia, all the way from Croatia, showing love. You know what I'm saying? Peace to you out there, man. Hope everything is good with you. Hope everything is good with you, man. I'm out here doing my one-two. I had been the corners, been the corner, you feel me? Yes, sir, man. Hey, man. Like I was saying, they said there ain't no, there ain't no money in the cargo van business. They, that's what they say now. That's what they say. They say there ain't no money in the cargo business, van business. Uh, no, nah, that's a lie. That's a lie. That ain't true. That's false. That is false. They money in the cargo van business. You just gotta find a way to go get it. And they, and there and a couple ways in the cargo van business to get it. As I talk, there's a cargo van pulling right beside me right now. Cause people out here getting that money. Getting that, getting that bread, sunbeam. So man, hey man, if you want to get in this game, get in the game, man. Come on, man. You just gotta jump, man. You gotta jump like you're doing double dutch. You're doing double dutch. You jump in and come get some of this cheese, man. Gouda. It's here for you. I'm telling you, it's here for you, man. You just gotta make that move, man. I'm sure you're tired of the rat race. I'm sure you're tired of the rat race. I know I was tired of the rat race. I was tired of it. I just I had to, I had to make a change. I had to make a change and I made a change, man. And I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Absolutely, man. Yes, man. I used to I used to work for Girl Scouts of Great Atlanta in the training department. I don't know more though. I don't know more. Uh-uh. But look, man. If you want to work for Curry Express, go to CurryExpress.net. Tell them Go Time Delivery sent you. CurryExpress.net. I think they're in Tennessee, of course, Georgia, Florida, North Carolina, South Carolina, maybe Alabama. I'm not sure. But yeah, man, they out there, man. Oh, man. Or, or do you want the gig apps? Freight, send pets, dispatch, go share. Um, the catering app, so deliver that. Zifty. They're out there, man. I'm telling you, man. You you can get busy. Even if you just want to do it part-time, you don't want to do it full-time, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Make some extra money. Make some extra on bread. Sunbeam. Yes, sir, man. So, yeah, man. It was a good day. It's Friday, man. I'm about to go get me. When I get to the crib, I'm going to pour me a, a glass of Remy. And I'ma chill, man. I'ma chill and rest, man. Hope y'all have a 
having a great day. I hope you had a great day. But I will see y'all Monday. Monday, man. God willing, I will see y'all Monday. I'm jumping on this 75, I 75 traffic right now, and it ain't moving fast. It's moving slow. It's moving slow, real slow. But yeah, it is what it is, man. Um, have a great weekend, and I will see y'all Monday. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. The rehab center TV, go time delivery, because it's always go time.